stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. May surprise kay B. Ayan, papasukin na natin ang isa pang hero. Pasukin natin si Sir Rolly Pagaspas. Ayan, paso. <laughs> Ayan, ang surprise. Sorry. Okay. Hi, Sir Rolly. Good Hi. evening. Hi. Good to see yeah. you. Hi, <laughs> Hi Rolly. Hi. Asa babate ko in German. Guten Tag, Vic. <laughs> Guten Tag. Vic Gates? <laughs> Kasi, we oh. were schoolmates and were batchmates in high school. So, I took German. Hindi ako Spanish. <laughs> oh, di ba? Baduy ako eh. Uh, Ayan. So, may question uh, si Sir Rolly. Uh, Vic, since your story is a story of poverty, And since uh, you have now reached a status of being a mother superior, we should deserve very much uh, because you really have made the mark. And so your role now is to inspire the others and the youth. So my question to you is, uh, what will be the greatest advice that you can give the youth given two things? No? Since you came from poverty, uh, will poverty, will you tell them that poverty should enrage you Or if poverty should inspire you, please choose one and then tell them why. Ayan. 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 Inspire or enrage. <laughs> ah, di ba, Miss Universe? Eh? Because uh, the experience of it will definitely give him the best insight that he can share with our audience. Ayan, ayan, kaya. My friend. Ano na wala ba ang corona mo dito? Corona dapat. At dahil dyan, ito ang sagot ko. I want to tell the I want to tell the world, the universe rather, that, <laughs> that poverty, that poverty, no seriously, should enrich you, because um, poverty may be very difficult. It offers a lot of um, harsh experiences, but it should always be a springboard to better things, to a better future. You cannot be caught in poverty. No, no one wants to be wants to stay poor no one wants to stay uh, in need no um, in fact even the bible it says na you have to get out of poverty we are equipped with um, all the necessary capabilities all the necessary talents yun lang you have to look within yourself discover what those powers are and use them to get out of poverty and then opportunities will open to you you will see a world far different from where you are now. Ako, ang Rolly, ang aking ano, ang aking naging escape, alam mo actually, are the books. I remember reading in my room. I was able to escape um, the poverty where I was in because of my imagination. And then, later, years later, little by little, came to realize all those imaginings that I had in my mind. That is all. I thank you. Thank you. Ayan. <laughs> Mga kalay, like our mother superior, Vic Sibilia, bawat isa sa atin ay may kanyang-kanyang panahon na maranasan ang maghanap sa sarili, magmahal at maranasan ang kabiguan. Lahat ng ito ay may taglay ng harap na siyang magpapatatag ng ating kaloob. Maraming pagbabalik, pakinggan natin ang isang clinical pastoral counselor and then Kasusno, ito ang makabaluhang usapan about emotional resilience. So stay tuned mga friends. Alam mo, John Alicios, hindi na kailangan si Darna sa eksena. Actually, may mga Darna sa ating kalooban kung bibigyan lang ng pagkakataon at chance na ma-develop ito. Mm-hmm. Iba na ako. Tama ka, JV. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, John Alicios at JV kung ano ang ating makakatulong sa ating sarili upang ma-develop ang ating strength, ang inner strength, ang pamamagitan ng pag-develop ng emotional intelligence or emotional resilience, ang tawag doon, di ba? So, that will be shared to our guest by our guest na coach. So, hindi na natin patagalin. Siya ay isang AB Psyche, uh, AB Psych, and then graduate from UP Diliman, batch 1970. Wow. More, yan. <laughs> Kasi baka magalit sa akin. Took up masters in child technology, uh, psychology at UP Diliman. She took up um, 
uh, chaplaincy and uh, training in clinical pastoral counsel or uh, counseling. Uh, she was also trained at uh, Search Inside Yourself Leadership Institute. And um, sa San Francisco, in 2018 and 2019, ayan, so she took, um, took up leadership. And then she obtained certification for Genius Workshop of On Emotional Intelligence. Uh, a co-founder of Philippine Advocates for Resilient uh, Communities and an NGO based in Baguio with drug counselors for rehab program of Baguio City. And also, she is a Zen practitioner. Ayun. So, please all welcome Miss Corito Reyes. Pag-uusapan natin uh, sa segment na ito, ang sabi ni Coach, with Miss Corito Reyes, ay tungkol sa mindfulness. And the way um, mindfulness kasi can help uh, develop or cultivate emotional resilience and emotional intelligence. And, and ano, ba talaga, ano ba talaga ang emotional intelligence? Uh, I-define right. natin sa ating mga nanonood at sa ating mga ka-rainbow. Ano ba talaga yan? Actually, no, ako yung experience ko sa mga in, um, belonging to the LGBT. Medyo marami ngayon mga batang LGBT. LGBT mm-hmm. Sobrang ano. dami. So, sobrang dami ngayon. So, mm-hmm. siguro maganda na ma-explain natin talaga kung ano ba talaga ang LGBT, ang LGBT, ang emotional intelligence. O, yeah. So, JB, kasi ko ang ano dyan uh, sa spiritual. Ako yung emotional intelligence na yan kasi fruit lang yan doon sa mindfulness practice. Sa pagiging mindful. O, but the emotional intelligence is actually the ability to understand, use, and manage your own emotions in a positive way to relieve your stress. Ginagamit mo, it, sa, sa, sa madaling salita, ang emotional intelligence ay yung kakayahan, abilidad, na gamitin ang emosyon mo para magiging malabanan mo yung stress mm-hmm. para ayusin ang sarili mo. Hindi mo hinahayaan na dadalhin ka ng emosyon mo kung saan-saan. Katulad na lang kung nagagalit ka, kung nalulungkot ka, kung nawawalan ka ng pag-asa, di ba? May mga tao na nalulugmok na lang sa sa kawalan ng pag-asa dahil nadidepress sila, dahil dahil wala na wala na silang magawa sa kanilang buhay, dahil walang tumulong sa kanila. So ginagamit natin ang emotional intelligence upang iangat ang ating sarili at hindi tayo tuluyang malugmok sa kawalan ng pag-asa. Ayun, mm, correct. We make the world according yeah. to how we see it. Diba? Mm. It's our perception. Yeah, so, so if we think... We create our own reality. Yes, correct. We create our own reality and we dictate and when we predict our own outcome. Right. So, knowing this, knowing what our mind is, is one, is one aspect of emotional intelligence. And that's where self-awareness comes in. So si, si, si Gaya ni Vic kanina, he knew. He knew what he wanted. He knew what he was. And I think the Rainbow Society is really more in tune with themselves. Diba? So that mm. self-awareness is a big step towards uh, uh, developing, developing one's emotional intelligence. So let me define what emotional intelligence is. It is the ability. So since it's an ability, it can be developed. We right. can all be emotionally intelligent. Mm. Yung IQ, you can be born with a certain predictability of how intelligent you can be. But, you know, right. studying... Yes, Coach. Yes, so, ang emotion... Ang, uh, um, one can be born with an IQ na... Ganito na, given na yan. But itong emotional intelligence, ay, it's a capability, it's a skill na pwedeng ma-develop over time kung hahayaan natin at i-open natin ating sarili na, na matutunan ang pagiging emotionally intelligent. Pasensya na, ha? Okay. okay, may I go back to the definition? It's the ability to monitor one's own feelings and emotions. Yung sinabi ni Jay kanina. I know, this is what I'm feeling. Uh, and to recognize the same in others. So we don't just stop with ourselves. The yeah. compassion of knowing 
I'm feeling this in someone. So you example ni Vic about uh, that uh, yung yung kanyang uh, discoverer uh, who was staying for, and and he was those uh, deep in thought ni lapitan ni, ni Vic. That's empathy. Yes. He yes. knew he needed something. Empathy. You and not just empathy. That was compassion. If you want something scientific. Hmm. Um, alam yung FMRI no. Anyway, they made a study on compassionate people. Yung okay. nagdidikit pa ng mga tutu yes. dito. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, you know Matthew Ricard, the happiest man on earth. He was the subject. Matthew Ricard. Hmm. Yeah. So. Buddhist. Uh, Buddhist monk. Took, yeah. Oh, uh, he's a monk. And yung kinabit dito sa kanya to make the, the experiment short no. They found out that where compassion lights up inside the brain is also the same area where happiness, joy, satisfaction, contentment, peace are also located. Mm-hmm. So the more compassionate you are, the more unselfish, the more you do for other people, the happier you become. Yes, oh. correct. Oh, oh, it's not because of the feeling na wow, ang bait ko. Oh. Hindi, hindi from that. Pero talagang you feel happy. Mm-hmm. Diba? Pag, pag may tinulungan ka, pag, mm-hmm. pag may tinulungan ka, there is something joyful in you. Yes. Right. Maraming pagkakataon na tayo ay may masasalubong na mga ham na nagpapayamig sa ating kalooban. Pagiging emotionally resilient o kaloobang hindi natitinag at marunong sumagwan sa agos ng buhay, ay mabubuo kapag natuto tayong maging mapagmalay, mindful, mapagkalinga sa ating sarili, pagbigay ng self-care, at marunong magbitaw sa mga bagay na hindi na nakakatulong sa ating paglago bilang tao. Sa aming pagbabalik, kilalani natin ang isang personalidad na hindi nagpapatinag sa mga hamon ng kanyang buhay. Tutok lang mga karen. Let's all welcome, ladies and gentlemen, worldwide, Mr. Patrick Jerome. Ayan. Pasok na, Patrick. Ayan. Hello, Hello oh, Patrick. Everyone. Magandang wow. gabi sa iyo. Nako. Looking fresh, ha? <laughs> Oo, biglang, biglang, ano, biglang na maluwiwanag ang iyong mundo, John. Nako. Hello, Patrick. Yeah. Hello everyone. Hello to the viewers of Rainbow Society. Wow. Ang kagat ni Patrick. Narinig mo ba yung mga sinabi ng ating mother sa pila kanina? At yung miss ko yeah. dito. Oo. So following that trend, ano ang pinakamatinding challenge na natap- napagtagumpayan mo in your personal life? Yung mga sa transition mo ba from your in, in your personal life, in your career? Ayan. Ano All ba yung right. mga meron kang sinabi aha moment at naging hero ka, ayan. Yung feeling mo naging hero ka. Oo. Okay. So, kasi, um, di ba, especially, alam naman natin, every, everyone was affected in this pandemic. Uh-huh. Eh, uh, at u- sa una, talaga, actually, parang nagpatalo din ako. Kasi, yung isip ko, wala naman pera yung mga tao, na, di ba, kasi maraming na unemployed uh, during uh, yung the whole pandemic. Eh pero uh, naisip ko kung hindi ko gagawa ng paraan yung ano kasi I am one of the breadwinners sa family. So 'di ba ako yung kumi- um, nagbibigay ng pera kay mommy, kay daddy and uh, I need to do something and step up and take responsibility. So kaya binago ko lang yung mindset ko uh, na I know um, even though kirap yung mga tao, I mm-hmm. still have to do my responsibility as a financial advisor to give people uh, advice to their finances, di ba? Para makabangon din tayo, maka, makabounce back din tayo. Yeah. Alright. So, I think yun speaking... yung parang pinaka uh, aha moment ko. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, galing. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, speaking of transitions, <laughs> Patrick, no? For you, Patrick, ano naman ang most significant lesson na natutunan mo sa mga transitions ng buhay mo? Uh, lesson? I think um, no matter the struggles, na pinag uh, that we're facing, uh, there is always a silver lining, and we just need to 
uh, have uh, that mindset na kaya natin to uh, no matter what oh, happens so, thank you thank you thank you maraming salamat thank, thank you. you congratulations to everyone mga ka rainbow na sinamahan niyo kami sa dalawang oras na inspiring and informative na chikahan mga ka rainbow araw-araw tayo ay sumasagwan sa bahay sa agos bawat pas ng alo ng hamon at malakas na hangin ng pagsubok ay hindi may iwasang tayo ay mangamba na di tayo makarating sa ating paroroonan. Sa gitna ng takot at tila kawalan ng pag-asa, let us awaken the hero inside us. We can be our own hero. We will never know how strong we are until we face up the challenges. Maraming salamat mga ka-rainbow. Kita-kits ulit tayo sa susunod na Sabado dito lang sa V81 Radio Worldwide. Rainbow Society, the first LGBTQIA digital radio on social media. Bye! Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.